hell is other people. I read that once in a book. I think I agree. I don't like being around people. I don't want them looking at me. I don't know if they're there. I live in the city because I have Q. I hate the crowds, all the people, but I have to stay. So I do. In order to get anywhere, I have to take the subway. I wish I didn't. I can't escape when I'm on the subway. At any moment, someone could try to talk to me, or look at me, or judge me, and I wouldn't know how to respond. I hate riding the subway, but it's the only way I can see the doctors since I don't drive. I put up with it because I have to because I don't have a choice. The doctors tell me there's something wrong with me. I think I only stay in the city so they can keep telling me that. I only go to the hospital so they can keep telling me that, at least. So they can keep giving me pills. I can't go on without this medicine. I don't know if it helps, but I know I need it. They tell me I need to take it. If I had my way, there are only two places I'd spend my time. I like the library. It's quiet. No one will approach me there. I can spend as long as I want reading without having to say a word to anyone. And I like visiting the church. The places around it are full of people, but it all seems to go away once I get inside. Hello, Father. Hello, Jean. Please, sit. I won't be much longer. How have you been, Jean? Uh, okay, I guess. You've been eating well? Yes, I have. Seeing the doctor, yes. taking your medicine? Yes, I have. I'm sorry, you know I need to check. I understand. You understand, we don't look after you just because of your parents, yes? I know. You know you're welcome here any time. You should come to Mass sometime, Jean. 
I'm sorry, what? There are too many people here, Father. You know I can't. Well, you could think about it. A little time closer to God could do you some good. You think? Yes, I do. But there are so many people. Why don't you think about it? Uh, uh, okay, I'll think about it. Do you have a place that lets you feel close to God, Jean? Does the library count? <laughs> well, I suppose it could, but that's not really what I mean. I, I, I don't understand. Well, how's this? There's a park nearby with a monument on top of a tall hill. Why don't you go there? Why? Well, it's a good place to clear your head. I go there every now and again. And you think I should go too? Well, yes. It's a nice place. Okay then. I guess I'll go. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, shit. If you can hear me, I'm gonna call in... Of course, no battery. I'm just gonna check if you have a cell phone. <coughs> hey, you okay? You awake? Okay? Yes, I'm fine. Listen, do you have a cell phone? Don't we should really call. Me. I hate people talking to me. Siggy! You shouldn't crap. get up. You might be in. Ah, I can't believe I just ran away. What are they gonna tell the librarian? That I lost the book? Uh, I can't do that. I'll tell them later. I, I can't deal with this right now. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I just came here to return your book. Uh, but I'll just give it to you if you weren't done with it. Th thank you. Are you okay? Did you see a doctor? I'm, I'm fine, I don't, I don't need to see a doctor. Didn't seem fine. I'm Paul, by the way. Jean. Uh, listen, when you were freaking out before... I wasn't freaking out. Oh yes, you were. That was a freak out. Uh, but you said something about not liking the train? Uh, I, I guess... I'm a driving instructor. Do you know how to drive? Uh, no. If you don't like the subway, why don't you learn? 
I don't have a car. Doesn't mean you'll never get one. Could come in handy one day. Um, uh, listen. Call me if you want to learn. And I'm sorry again uh, for tripping you. I'm glad you're alright. Thank you. escape. I hate my Giga K life. I hate being nervous around all the people outside church. Or outside the hospital. And of course I hate the subway. I have so many reasons to put up with it. Because people tell me to. And I still hate it. And I still want an escape. I want those driving lessons. But I can't even believe Paul exists. Maybe if I could prove he's there. Maybe Father would help me. I need his help for this. Miss Paul? You want driving lessons? You know that's dangerous with your condition. I don't think that's safe. Jean, if you really want this, you don't need to ask me. You've got enough money. We've made sure of that. I don't know if he's real. Oh, I see. So... Could you tell me if he's real? Hello, Jean. Hi. You wanted to talk about the driving lessons? And we couldn't have done it over the phone? No, no, no there's, there's, there's someone I, I, I need you to meet. Uh, Father, I think he's just my, uh, he takes care of me. Can you just stay away for a second? Mm -hmm. Hello, Father. Hello, Paul. Nice to meet you. Mm. So, so he's real? Huh? Yes, Jean. Now could I have a few minutes to talk to him? It's not often Jean meets new people. It's good for her. Yeah, she's an odd one. Well, it's not her fault. She was in a car crash years ago. Her parents died, and she was injured pretty badly. Hurt her head. Ever since, she keeps seeing people who aren't real. It confuses her. Oh. So that's why she wanted you to meet me? To prove you were real, yes. But I wanted to talk to you too about the driving lessons. I have to say, I don't approve. She's old enough that I don't need parental consent though, right? You're a bit young to be giving that sort of consent anyway. She was left in the care of this church. Our previous pastor recently passed away and his duties fell on me. 
hand. And that means it's my responsibility to take care of her. It's up to her, though. I'd prefer you listen to me. She could be a dangerous driver with her condition. It's up to her, sir. I see. Well, thank you for your time. No worries. Take care. Uh, I have to go. Why don't you take a walk with me? I'm heading toward the park. Right. You seem much more relaxed. Well, yeah, now that I know. That I'm real? Father Anthony tell you? He did. Has he told you about him, though? What do you mean? Never mind. He also told me not to give you driving lessons. Then I guess I can't take them. Now why not? Father, I think he's sick. I couldn't. So? I have to respect his wishes. Do you want these driving lessons? Well, yes I do, but... Gene, you can't rely on him for everything. I, I trust his judgment. More than your own? He's the same as you. What do you mean? He left a letter out in the lobby from a psychiatrist. It was about his medication. Gene, he can't tell if people are real either. So that means? That means you and he have the same judgment. So you might not be? Oh, give it a rest, Gene. No one can know what anyone else sees. We can't rely on each other for that. So I'll ask again, do you want these driving lessons or not? It's your choice.